right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and we're back showing some love to the Jade Giant. Absolutely loving the Hulk in this new uniform. And I did say to you guys a couple days ago when I made a PvP video on this man that I would be trying him out a little bit later in PvP to see how he performs with a CTP of regeneration and giving you guys my final thoughts for him because this is how I plan to keep him pretty much indefinitely because I think the Hulk is the perfect character for a ctp of regeneration so if you are free to play you have a limited amount of these things and you like the hulk i think this might actually be the best bet for you to get the most out of the character and i want to just confirm this by asking any of you guys who have a ctp of rage on the hulk let me know in the comment section what is the highest piece of content you have cleared with him all right, so on war boss, any boss, how high have you cleared with him, with a CTP of rage? Because I want to gauge where I'm at with regen compared to where you are at with rage, right? Because honestly, right now, I think he might actually be better than Thanos with a CTP of regen, or at the very least, for PvE content, because I do have my Thanos with a regen because I use him in PvP, right? It's a similar one to what the Hulk has. You can see like 33 and then the 25 on the shield because I just can't I just can't be bothered, man. Like it takes so many obelisks to get like 30 plus percent max HP and a 35% shield. So I just settle for that, right? But I've been trying them both out in PvP. If you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison, let me know. But it looks like the Hulk is actually a little bit better than Thanos. And by a little bit, it's a good bit. And it comes down to the fact that his damage is based off his HP. And he just has so much freaking HP. More HP than you could ever have when it comes to physical or energy attack. So a character like him, it's just perfect for a CTP of regen. So we're gonna take him into some content here today. The only thing I've done to him is given him one additional Uru and I am going to amplify the remaining slots. I'm just micromanaging my gold because even though I have over 150,000, it's still not as much as I'm probably gonna need for the next update if we continue the trend of what's been going on lately where we get an update, two weeks later we get a mid-month patch and then two weeks or so later we get an update again. And in between that, we get a tier two native or something, right? Something crazy that we need to build. Yeah, your boy's low on gold. Low on black anti-matter, but even lower on gold. And I've always said it, man. People think crystals is the most important thing in this game. It's not. You can do a whole lot in the game without crystals. You can't do a whole lot without gold. Trust me. Right, you get an update drop and you don't have any gold, what do you do? You can't even build the character, so you can't play with it, right? You know what I'm saying? The game is pretty much in a standstill for you. Anyways, man, let's jump into some war boss content. And I was actually pretty surprised that the Hulk can actually smash through like a 65, boys. A 65 against Proxima with regen. Might not be that impressive to you guys, but for a PvP build against Proxima specifically, like, I think this is plenty good. I don't know, why do I have anti-venom here? I probably was using somebody else. Who was I using? I can't even remember. Whatever. Either way, it is still really, really surprising that the Hulk can push this high up. And I think I could even go a little bit higher than 65. It just it just doesn't seem that consistent because sometimes, hold up, Proxima will just do like 20 lightning spears back to back and then you have no time to actually clap her because you just spend all the time running away. Let me just hit that tier three, get a little bit of that. Ooh, ah, uh, it ran out. I was gonna say, let me get a little bit of the defense down that remained. I do think we could go up to like 70 with them though, which would be pretty impressive. I don't think there's any other character that can go to like 70 with a PVP CTP. So if any of you guys are able to do that, that would be really, really cool. Let me go like that, then let me go like this, and then spin a Rooney, hit you with the Ellie, hit you with the Heli, you a Demon. Proxima, can you chill? Cool part about this is because his HP is so high and he's so freaking tanky, 
you don't need to play him with no type of crowd control or no type of cure in the world. You just keep hitting your third skill to make sure you get that fat 30%. And you can tag a couple of lightning spirits to the head top and you fine. You fine fine, especially if you have the CTP of region. So if you're ever just having one of those days where you just want to come in and smash face and you don't want to worry about dying, man, even if you're running like a stage 50 plus, the Hulk's your guy now. That's big facts. You love to see it. You look at the other Avengers, right? Like Captain America, really good. Yes, really, really good. Especially against Proxima. I don't think the Hulk, hold up. I think we can tank one, so we're just gonna do that. I don't think the Hulk would ever get higher against um, Proxima than Captain America, right? But in terms of PVP potential, the Hulk has way more PVP potential and he has way more than Iron Man as well. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tony Three Stacks. Okay, we're gonna move out of that. What is she gonna do? Oh, another one, eh? All right, we're gonna hit you with the Spinner Rooney and then we're gonna bail. Yo, how many times are you gonna do this? Okay, apparently more times. You're annoying. Let me just stack up my HP. Ooh, ooh why are the bars flying off like that? Hello? There was no defense down either. Oh, she has um the frenzy buff up. Okay, we gotta wait a couple more seconds. I see it flashing. Okay, now we can start doing damage. So in case you guys didn't know, right? Proxima has this frenzy buff on her. Before it was hidden, but now it starts showing up after the update they did, I think uh, a while back, All right? So basically there's periods of the fight where even if you have defense down on her and stuff, she won't take that much damage because her all defense is being increased by a good bit. All right, but because it's not there now, that was what was happening before. Like if you were ever playing with Deadpool and you're just doing so much damage and then all of a sudden, even when the defense down is on, you're getting like no damage at all. That was what was happening. But because it was hidden from us, because they like to hide things, right? We were just thinking it was a bug, but it was actually just a frenzy buff like that. I believe it's like 20% all attack and 20% um, defense. It's just like the same thing that's on your character, like Thanos, for example. I might show you guys at the end of the video what it is in case you didn't know. But basically, when you see it pop up at the top here, you can just basically you just walk away from Proxima and just dodge because you're going to do very little damage. But if you're using somebody like the Hulk, you can just keep smashing to get some damage because chances are you're not going to die. All right, but we'll just finish this up and just slam and clap them cheeks because you belong to the streets. Hey, chill. See, the frenzy buff is up right now. That's what it is. Like, that's why we didn't do that much damage. And you can see the damage is not nearly as much as it was before, but we still got it, right? So you basically got to watch out for that frenzy buff from time to time because if your character is not really that powerful and then you waste like a really good rotation when frenzy buff is up, that can cause you to run out of time. And that happens to me quite a bit when I just get into the zone of just smash, 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 and I'm not paying attention. Let me actually jump in against Thanos and show you guys what he can do. So this is the worst thing about Hulk with a CTP of regen. If you're struggling to get clears against Thanos, yeah, giving him regen is gonna set you back because if he was somebody you were relying on for a clear, you're gonna notice a major drop off in his damage output, or at least I have. Like I've dropped about 10 stages which is unfortunate, I'm not gonna cap, right? It's unfortunate. I was hoping that it would stay pretty consistent here, but I guess it was about the same loss as with Proxima, right? He went from 75-ish to um, 65, and he's about the same against Corvus, 65, 70. So those are good, right? Those are consistent, but we have so many characters that can do those, so it would have been nice if he could still do close to, closer to 40 here, but I, I don't see it. I don't see it as a possibility. So this is the worst thing about Hulk with a CTP of region. If you were looking for somebody that could basically, because he can tank, like he can tank those hits from Thanos, those, um what do you call it? Those super Titan punch that basically one shot most characters, the Hulk, he can tank those. He can eat those for breakfast, bro. Like it takes like two or three of them to kill him. If you have the HP up, the HP buff from the third, it takes like three of them to kill him. Actually, 
actually, if you have the regen on him, it takes four to kill him, right? So there's that. But it might just be because this is not stage 40 plus, right? So there is that. It is unfortunate. Okay. Let's just get some more defense down on so we can push through this phase. Nice. Ouch. Yeah, I framed us. Yeah, this is looking risque. If you guys have regen on him because you enjoy PvP, or maybe you just see that that's where he's supposed to be, so you gave him regen, let me know if you guys are clearing higher than 30 with your regen. Okay, I did not touch the... Yo, why does that keep happening? That has to be a bug, bro. This is not the first, second, or third time that's happened to me. That's happened so often. I feel like this stage, when you're trying to like evade Thanos and stuff, it's it has like mechanics in there to purposefully get you close to Thanos so he can kill you, right? Because when you're doing that one, two step, the D-pad will just initiate like a skill out of nowhere. I could tank this. Let me just go ahead. It doesn't matter. I can tank that. I'm not going to waste time dodging a skill that I can eat. Is he gonna go up? Okay, we're gonna use the tier three here. Yeah, you can see, yeah, two minutes left to take off eight bars. It's not gonna be good. Yeah, this is unfortunate. So this is basically the downside of giving him regen. Like he can stay alive, but the damage the damage against Thanos is a bit lackluster. Like Pietro, he's gonna push 50, 60 plus. We can tank one or two of those, yeah. So we don't need to worry about that. Against somebody like Pietro, because he has the type advantage, he can tank and he can he can clap 50 plus. Proxima and Corvus, he can clap them easily. But Thanos, yeah, you're gonna need some defense down gimmick from your team comp or from your strikers to actually like clear against him past 30 you can see like this is definitely possible but you need to um play one very very aggressively and two you have to get kind of lucky whereas Thanos will often just iframe you in the middle of your skill that can't happen to you too too much because that's gonna cost you time all right see like right there that my fourth skill canceled so that's costing me time because now I have to wait for it to come off cooldown. And okay. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. This is probably gonna be a turn off for some of you guys. You're gonna be like, oh, he's trash. No, 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 he's not trash. It's just this boss is very difficult, right? And yeah, this is just the downside of going PvP and expecting him to be putting out big boy numbers in PvE. Like you can see it's very much so possible. If we didn't lose that one or two rotation via all of like we just we just ate all of those bro. Okay can we can we can we do it? Oh man we were so close. We were actually so close. You can see it's very much so possible, but I don't think you're going to be doing anywhere close to 40 with the Hulk with a CTP of region. So that is something you need to keep in mind. Extremely tanky, very, very safe, super fun, plays the way how I think a Hulk should play, right? But with this CTP, unless you have a lot of HP coming from your cards, you're probably not going to be pushing close to the 40s against Thanos, right? But even with a CTP of Rage, 40 was barely possible. So him dropping to like 30-ish, right? With a CTP of Regen doesn't really surprise me too, too much. So I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what your experience have been like if you have them with a PVE, CTP like Energy or Rage. And let me know what you are seeing if you have a CTP of Regen. Can I go higher than 30? And if so, how high have you gone? Send me those screenshots on Discord, on Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.